Hello, it's Lindy Royer from Pipe Meadows Pilates and Physical Therapy in Lone Tree and creator of the Body Truth Program. I'm here with you today as part of our indoor golf series. If you haven't seen any of the videos, you can catch some of the previous ones here on this page. There's a whole playlist of indoor golf videos. I suggest you start at video number one, where we introduced the series and then we started video two with the feet. Today we're going to talk about the spine. So you might recall in the last video, we talked a little bit about the pelvis. The pelvis is comprised of three bones that sit at the base of the spine. So we have our right half of the pelvis, your left, a left half of the pelvis, and then we have this kind of funky bone in the middle, which on my friend Seymour here is this bone right here. And this bone is called the sacrum. The sacrum then is the bone that combines the two halves of the pelvis and then it holds up the spine. So the spine needs to have a base. And if you consider that the pelvis is a pretty big set of bones, right? You have this other smaller bone, which is still quite large in comparison to the rest of the spine, that forms the base of the spine. So I happen to have a sacrum right here. So this is what it looks like, and we're looking at it from the side. So this bone is what a lot of people often term the tailbone, but this is actually the base of the spine. So we need to have some good alignment in the pelvis in order to hold up the rest of the spine. Now when you look at the spine, if you've ever looked at the spine, most people think that the spine is just a series of bones and they all kind of stack up on top of each other and sometimes they hurt. That's pretty much what we think of when we think about the spine. We either think about, you know, nothing at all or we notice it when our back hurts or our shoulders hurt or our neck hurts. The, the important part of the spine for those of us who are walking around on planet Earth is that a vertebra is not the same as another vertebra. So the spine is very different from top to bottom. Can you guess, in looking at these two vertebra, which one is at the top of the spine and which one is at the bottom? Would it make sense that the bigger, thicker one is the base and the smaller, narrow, skinnier one would be somewhere up at the top, right? So the way our spine is designed is to be wider at the base and narrower at the top which would be a pretty good structural support system, I would think. You wouldn't want to reverse that and have these big, bulky, weight-bearing vertebrae stacked on top of little, skinny, teeny neck vertebrae, although, you know, it is possible to stand on our heads. So, for golf, what we need to keep in mind is that the joints of the spine, in this arrangement that we have, do not line up so that the spine is straight when we look at it from the side. So we have this little inward curve at the neck, a little outward curve in the middle of the spine, a little inward curve in the lower back, and the sacrum, the bone I just showed you, is a little outwardly curved. So is the back of the head. This is designed to give us a little bit of shock absorption and energy regeneration, if you will, because if we just absorb shock, where does it go? Well, it goes back into producing more movement. So our alignment of the spine is really, really significant in terms of how we function, how we weight bear, and how we manage our head over the base. What I'd like you to do this month, or this couple of weeks actually, before our next video comes out, is you're gonna notice the relationship of your head over the center of your spine and over your pelvis. A great place to notice these relationships is in standing and in sitting. So if you're sitting at your desk right now watching this video, would you say that your head is over the base of your spine, which is your sacrum and your pelvis? That's all I want you to notice for the next couple of weeks. In the next video, we're gonna talk about movement of the spine and how that then relates to golf and what you can do to practice to improve it. So work on your alignment, practice just noticing how am I balanced over the base of my spine, which is the sacrum and the pelvis, and I'll see you in the next video.